Good morning, everybody, once again. The, one of our last interviews on the morning show, the Schooner Morning Show, with your host, Mark Prevo. From now on, it will be hosted by Samantha Seabold. And with me today, I have one of our brand new tenants here at Schooner Estates, living in apartment 313. Three, one, three. Three, one, three. Uh, in the Searsport building, this is Ann Wallace with us today, right, Ann? Right. Great. And you came with us on the trip last week, and uh, we had a blast, didn't we? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. We went all the way up to Berlin, New Hampshire. Berlin, not Berlin. Berlin. We learned that. Yes, I did. Yes, <laughs> yeah. We, but we had a good time, a very right, good time. Right. And hopefully there'll be a lot more and many more good times yet to come now that we're opening up, getting rid of this COVID stuff that's going on. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Good, I'm glad to hear that. So tell all of your friends and neighbors here at Schooner Estates where you were born. I was born in New York City. In the city? In the city, Manhattan. No The girl of Manhattan. That is amazing. I think you're, you're the first tenant I know I have known that was born in the city. Many have lived there, but uh, you were actually born there. Right. I think the name of the hospital was Harkness Pavilion. That is fantastic. <laughs> so were, do, were you brought up in the city? You were brought up? Um, no, my, at, the point, at that point, my parents were living in Terrytown, so they had an apartment. Terrytown? New York. Right there by the Tappan Sea Bridge. Right know it well. Uh, matter of fact, we almost ended up living there. My dad uh, had an opportunity to buy into a business with uh, one of his best friends and it was in Terrytown and we went down there and we were going to move there but my mother nixed the plan, thank God. Um, we would have been living right next to the Tappan Sea Bridge. Well then my parents moved to, um, where was it? In New York, I can't think of the name of it right now. Yeah, but it was in the art section in of the city of the city. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Greenwich Village. Greenwich Village. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So Ooh. I was there until I was four years old. So I learned a uh, roller skate on the sidewalks <laughs> of New York. <laughs> they, we call it the cement jungle. Right. That's right. That's right. So um, you were there till four. What? Where did you go after four? Uh, Connecticut. Uh, okay. You moved up to Connecticut. Moved up to Connecticut. And is that where you went to school? Yes. I went to Connecticut College. Yeah. Back then it was Connecticut College for Women located in New London, Connecticut. New London, wonderful. Across the street from the Coast Guard Academy and the submarine base. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> yeah, that big, big, big spanse of river and that submarine yeah, base. Yeah, the Thames that, River. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I have a, uh, a good friend that lives in Madison, Connecticut, which is about 30 minutes from me. Right, yeah. right. So, so all of your schooling in Connecticut and you went to college for women in Connecticut, then what happened? Um, well, after I graduated, my father was transferred back to Chicago. He worked for Hearst Publications. Okay. And so then I found a job at Leo Burnett Advertising Agency. Wow. And at that time, I majored in art. Yeah. But at that time, they put me in the steno group. I was uh, secretary to one of the vice presidents. Steno meaning stenography? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I wonder if you're... And I never learned how to type. <laughs> you're kidding. You just did the stenography? I was, but you... I was good at taking dictation. Right, but not... <laughs> right, but not typing. No, but the gal that was had the desk in front of me typed like 100 words a minute. And back then, we had manual typewriters. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. I remember boom, 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 boom with right. those. You had to hit them hard, too. So all I was doing was stepping on the, my paper in the lease basket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm curious. You said you grew up till four in the art district of New York, and then you majored in art in college. I wonder if subconsciously that had an influence on what you decided to do. Well, it could be. I yeah. don't know. I was, say, I was always as a kid drawing, you know, doing right, all that. Right, right. Yeah, they say that a lot of our 
thoughts are formed in the early ages of life. So it's a possibility, right? Could be. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. So uh, how long were you in that job? I mean, did... uh, about three and a half years. Okay. And um, in the meantime, I, I took um, art lessons at the Chicago Institute of Art. Wow. And um, then I married there. <laughs> in Chicago? At, in Chicago, Evanston, Illinois. Evanston, My parents were living Illinois. in Evanston, Illinois. Okay, yeah. And <clears throat> married, and then my husband was transferred to Detroit. So I lived in Michigan, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Boy, you have done a lot of moving around. Oh, yeah. I'm a vagabond. <laughs> <laughs> well, very interesting, though. You got to really know a lot of interesting areas. Right. Uh, mainly metropolitan, though. I mean... You know, not much of the country. It sounds like, you know, outside of Detroit, and Chicago, and New York City, and Connecticut, and those are all kind of major metropolitan areas. Yeah, I'm yeah. a city girl. A city girl <laughs> through and through. I can see that. I could tell on our trip. But I like you were, camping. <laughs> you were enjoying the countryside on our trip. I thought we were going to get lost there, but, you know, thanks to a lot of tenants, we found our way to back to the main highway. Right, right. <laughs> well, they all had a sense of humor. Yes, they fun. did. Yes, they did. Yeah. So, um, so you married your husband. Did you have any children? Yeah, I have two. I have a daughter that lives in Jay, Maine. Oh, yeah. And my son lives in um, Beaverton, Oregon, outside of Portland. Wow. So on uh, both coasts. One yeah. is in on the east coast well Jay one is, is on, on the coast, west coast and one's on the west coast wow wow so uh what is your your daughter's close by uh, right. how did she end up in jay maine well they lived in california and her husband's from jay maine no kidding and they have they have a son one yeah. and only yeah and they decided they didn't want to send their child to the schools in california aha uh -huh. so they moved back here he probably said, I grew up in a nice little town where everybody knew each other. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was a good upbringing, and that's what I want for my son. Right. Boy, that's great. And an only child boy. Right. Right. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's good. I know of an only child boy who was not spoiled at all and was brought up very, very well. So well, that's a good I'm an thing. only child. You too. are too. See, there's a lot to be said for only children, I think. We anyway. learn to survive. <laughs> that's right. We learn to survive. And we're not spoiled, by the way, either. No. So, <laughs> so tell me, did you did you do any traveling outside of the US? Oh yes. Yeah? I've been to Europe. I've been to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji. Mexico all the time because I lived in Tucson when I retired I moved to Tucson my son was living going to the University of Arizona down in Tucson Yeah, so when I retired I moved down there. So I was there for 13 years. Oh, wow Wow, very dry Not humid but hot Well, Tucson. I've been there a couple of times It's not bad. You get used to it. Yeah, not a lot of water or rain or in well, we get monsoons in the spring, in the winter time. Which caused and I lived on the Sonoran Desert, which is not like a dry Sahara type right, desert. Right, no, no. There's some no. cactus and different life yeah. that don't so require all, a lot of all, yeah. All, it's beautiful. It really is. It's all. It's a whole different beauty, I think, than what we're used to up here. Uh, but it is absolutely a beauty in and, in and of itself. But there's a lot to do in Tucson. You oh. have the university there. Yes. You have two national parks. Right. Well, one national park, east and west. Yes. Saguaro National Park. Yeah. You have the Desert Museum, which is a wonderful place. They have all kinds of an desert animals and, right. you know, flora and fauna, whatever. Yeah, yeah. We went to visit my wife's relatives there, and they insisted to take us out to this uh, nice restaurant, and they insisted that we had to wear a tie. And it was the type of restaurant that anybody that came in with a tie, the waiter would cut the tie right now. Oh, I know. You know the place? I, yes. 
I can't think of the name of it right now, but I've been there. That was the funniest thing. It's they, way on the east side. It is, and they insisted that we wear a tie, and we didn't even bring one, so they gave us a, a tie to wear, and they and the waiter said, apparently you haven't been here before, and he cut the tie right now. <laughs> My father's jaw hit the table. He couldn't believe it. And laugh. I mean, we laughed so much about that. Yeah. But that's their shtick is right. all these right. ties. It's a big you know? tourist trap. It gets everybody talking about it. Yeah. And naturally, they had to bring us there ju just for that joke. So that's a good marketing tool for that restaurant. Right. Small world. Small <laughs> world, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so you've done not only a lot of traveling in the United States, but all over the world. And yeah, well, I haven't been to South America, and I haven't been to the Far East. Aha. Uh -huh. Two places. But you can, you can still do that, or you can do it virtually. Everybody's traveling virtually now. It's amazing what you can see on television. You just Google it, and you can get a tour of almost anywhere in the world. Somebody's yeah, but it's done more it. fun being there. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> so much more fun. You get to taste the food and right. meet and talk to the people. Yeah. And, yeah. Now, my son's been there because he works for a company where they make um, the machine that makes uh, chips, microchips. Oh, wow. So he's been to Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Beijing. Boy, so he's been all over. He must have a big job then. That's a big job to be flying around like that into those places. Yeah. Wow. Good for him. Good for him. Yeah, I'm proud of him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be? You right. Know? Yeah. Right. So uh, uh, along life's journeys, did you have any hobbies? Did you? Well, yeah. Uh, watercolors. Painting. 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 Yeah. Do you still do that? Mm-hmm. Oh boy, we love that. We love that painting. We, matter of fact, we used to have art classes here where there was a gentleman that used to come once a week and he would do art classes. He, he ended up getting a job somewhere uh, else and wasn't able to come anymore. But we had six people, I think, at the time that liked it. And then uh, after we got done the first project, it, the next project was only two people. So it didn't uh, it didn't pay him to yeah. come, you know. Well, I have an MFA from Wayne State University in wow. fine arts. You know that I bet you they might be able to find a few people here that might learn a little something from you just for the fun of it. Well, have you have you ever been to those? My wife wants to go to one of these where they it's called wine and art. You go and and you sip wine and you learn how to do a, a painting or oh, whatever. No, I know how to do one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's fun to sip the wine. <laughs> and you could teach others. Yeah, well, I used to exhibit my artwork in art galleries in Detroit. So so you must have some of that in your apartment. Oh, yeah. Come visit me. I'm going to. I have a collection of art. I've got just this week left, so oh, I'm going to come, come up. see you. I am definitely going to come see I'll you. I'll make some iced tea. Yeah. Matter of fact, I dreamt about this last night. We had a lady that lived up on the fourth floor in Rockport. She was from New York City and she loved art. She wasn't born there, but she lived there. And her apartment up on the fourth floor of Rockport was an art museum. It was, un it was stunning. We had an open house with cheese and crackers and, and uh, different hors d'oeuvres. And her and her daughter were there and had an open house of her apartment with all of the art she had collected over the years. Oh, wow. It was one of the best events I think we've ever had here at Schooner. It was one, and she was so proud, you know, and she got to show off all of her art and everything. And her daughter was proud and, and uh, people came and gone. We had, it was an open house for an hour and people came and she went. She have contemporary art? Uh, I don't think it was contemporary. No, it was more the classics. You oh, know, was, yeah. I have the contemporary. Oh, uh -huh, you're the contemporary. Art. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. That's great. Maybe you can help the rest of us uh, understand it. <laughs> it could. Well, be anything, that would be right? a very hard job. <laughs> I know. I know it. Be art is in the eye of the beholder, exactly. right? Is that what they say? Exactly. Yeah. How about any other, uh, you know, we've got our your friends and neighbors here at Schooner watching. Are there any other hobbies or 
interests or whatever that well, you Well, I want. used to do a lot of gardening, but a lot I of can't gardening. do that now. Well, we have a small... We have small raised garden beds out back. Oh, you do? We have eight of them, and I th as far as I know, there's six left. So if you wanted to do that, you could. So I can could. put a tomato plant in You there. could. You could. We've had people do tomatoes, uh, green peppers, cucumbers. Most everybody does flowers, but... And then somebody was growing a lot of rhubarb there. I don't know if it's still there or oh, not. Oh, God, it's still there. Yeah. You can't get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. Boy, that's great. So some gardening and art... Uh, do you play cards at all or any type of game? Well, like, I used to play bridge. Bridge? But I haven't done it for years. Well, we've got quite a bridge group here, and if the bridge players are listening, and Wallace. Oh, no, they don't want me. I'd have to practice. Well, you practice, so what? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about having fun, I think. Right, right. Well, so... Boy, oh boy, I mean, you've really had quite the life. I think it's wonderful. I think you've really yeah, experienced it. Yeah, no regrets. <laughs> no, none whatsoever. So tell me, when did you retire? About about what age? I think I was 74. What? You worked until you were 74? Boy, maybe I am retiring too soon. <laughs> Wow. Well, I when I lived in Arizona, I worked um, at a resort, uh, La Paloma, yeah, Western, um, and I worked in a, a boutique. In the resort. In the resort. And you probably just loved it. Oh, I loved it. So it wasn't like going to work. It was really no. It was fun. Having fun. Yeah. 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 And it was a beautiful environment. Of course. Of course. Well, that, that's how I thought of this for the last 24 and a half years. It, beautiful environment, and it's not work. It's fun. You know, right. Folks like you make it interesting and just wonderful. Wonderful. So, that's what I did. Well, that's great. <laughs> that really is great. Yeah. Anything else you'd like anyone to know? I think we pretty much covered We've it. We've covered it. So, just say hello to Ann Wallace. Apartment Hi, 313. Everybody. <laughs> you will see her out and about and on trips and different things as we open up here at Schooner. And I know that everybody is going to have a great time. So that'll do it for our interview with Ann Wallace. And we thank you once again for tuning in now and always. And thank you for all your support throughout all the years here at Schooner Estates. This is Mark Prevo signing off for the Schooner Morning Show right here at Schooner Estates. Goodbye, everybody, and have a great rest of the year. Adios. Adios, amigos. <laughs>